I think uh, had a little chip on their shoulder from the last time we played them, and they really came out and took it to us. Um, they made big plays and big shots. It's like every time we made a run, they stepped up and uh, and really um, just did what they had to do to kind of cut us off. And their rebounding effort in the second quarter, I think, was the difference in the game. Uh, it allowed them to get a cushion, and we never could make the run that we needed to. But uh, I just like to thank God for. For this season and these players, um, I'm blessed to have this opportunity, and I think we um, we did some great things this year, and uh, we have a lot to be proud of, and we have everybody back but our one senior, Michaela. So hopefully we can use this as fuel and, and work in the off season and and get back here and um, hopefully uh, um, advance in the future. Well, we did have a little bit of foul trouble, but we just got outworked. I mean, we were they they were up 15 rebounds on us um, at halftime, and I think we looked and they had missed 19 shots and they had gotten eight offensive boards. So half of the shots they missed, they got second chances. And they're very athletic, uh, and we knew that going in, and and we just didn't do a good job of rebounding. We knew that it was going to take rebounding was going to be a team effort, and uh, we just didn't get a body on them as much as we should. But a lot of that again is a credit to them because they were relentless after the boards. It was definitely a good experience being here and, you know, how the game played out definitely wasn't what we wanted or expected because, you know, we definitely felt like we could have won against this team. But, I mean, everything happens for a reason. And we really just got to look at how far we came this season. People we proved wrong and, you know, everyone that doubted us. And we just got to keep our heads held high and move on and work for the next thing and just try and keep pushing and be more successful in the future. Rihanna, you, you've been here last year. Um, I think we, just like she said, they were relentless. We weren't being as physical and we had a lot of mental lapses. And I think that gave them more momentum into the game and that put us in the hole. Coach of uh, UT Martin, they shoot okay from three, but what do you feel like the difference was? Is it just you guys crashing the boards and left them open? Well, I think a lot of it's confidence. I mean, you know, Hicks made a couple big ones, and the, and the goal looked huge to her. But that's what good players do. I mean, they've got a lot of good players. When you're doing a scout on them, you go about ten deep uh, because they, they run in and out. They play a lot of people. And they've got a lot of kids that can do a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, she's a 50-50 kid. She's a kid that will shoot it. Uh, part of the time and drive it the rest of the time. So we wanted to take away her initial shot, didn't give her cushion. But we just, you know, she got open. And, uh, you know, but that's that's what players do this time of year. Players make big plays and they make big shots. And she she certainly did that. You know, Imani, I think, even though I wasn't here her first two years, I mean, I've watched her success and I think she's just gotten better and better. And, I mean, she's, she's going to be what drives them. And, uh, you know, as a coach, your point guard's important. And, and I think she's a very important piece for them. And she plays hard and she just kind of drives the boat. And then, you know, we I thought – Chelsea Perry made it look easy today. We didn't make her work hard enough for what she got, but uh, they got a lot of great players. Kevin's an outstanding coach, and uh, and uh, like I said, we got to get you got to give credit where credits due, and they deserve a lot of credit. But they did make a lot of big shots today. It seemed like every time you guys were making a run, they kind of did something to stifle it. Uh, what were they doing to, to take away everything y'all wanted offensively? Well, we, we, you know, we were a little bit stagnant offensively, and that's been kind of part of our problem all year long. Finally, you know, the last part of the season, we got a little bit better offensively. But, uh, you know, you got to make shots. We didn't make a whole lot of shots today. I felt like we got some good shots, got some point-blank shots that we normally make, and we didn't. And uh, when the ball's not going in, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to uh, uh, to get your motivation and your confidence up. Uh, I, I do think a lot of this is fatigue. I mean, our kids, I, I play six kids basically, and they have played 35 to 40 minutes uh, all year long. And a credit to them for sticking with me and, and doing that. We just don't have enough depth right now. And, uh, you know, their ability to pressure you like they do, they're long, they're athletic, and their ability to run people in and out at you, um, I think mentally and physically wore us down today. So, um, again, credit to them. They were relentless.
you guys really did take care of the basketball with only nine turnovers. They only have a pretty clean basketball game. Um, I guess just from a from an offensive standpoint, though, did you guys feel just a little tight with this being uh, an inexperienced basketball team here in the first half? Well, I mean, I, I don't know that I necessarily felt tight. I mean, these kids have played all year. We, we you know, we haven't played the young card a whole lot. Uh, I mean, you know, our freshmen have started however many games we've played this year. And, uh, you know, even though Crane and, and Janika are the only two that we had coming back that were even on the roster last year that had any minutes, we felt like that they've gotten plenty of minutes and they've grown um, as this year. So I don't think necessarily tight. Um, you know, in Evelyn's defense, and, and we don't make any excuses, Evelyn hurt her knee in the Austin P game. Of course, we tried to keep that under wraps as much as possible. Evelyn didn't practice all week till Wednesday. And uh, although the MRI showed that, you know, there was just swelling and those type of things, mentally, I think that she had t a hard time trusting it. And so she wasn't as physical or as active as she normally will be. Uh, but still, you know, I look on here and, uh, and she still um, had 12 points and, um, uh, what, eight boards, you know, so she's going to give it and she's going to bring it. And uh, uh, we just never really got into the flow of the things that we needed to do today. And again, I think it's because they, they came out and they took it to us and we kind of stepped back a little bit in the, you know, the last nine games of the season, we kind of th were the ones throwing the punches. Today, we kind of took them. Well, it's definitely a good feeling, you know. Like, it's always good knowing that someone says you can't do something and you prove it wrong and you come out and do it. So, yeah, it's definitely a good feeling. And even though it's, you know, kind of a sad moment right now, it's still something we should be proud of, you know, because, yeah, we shouldn't be satisfied that we just got here. Like, we felt like we could have gone all the way, but we still got to be proud of how far we came to and all the progress we made during the year. So it's definitely like a bittersweet moment because you know you accomplished so much and you for a lot of people wrong, even yourself and like there's so many like doubters around. So it's definitely good to know that we we trusted ourselves, we trusted our whole team, our coaches, all our staff and we had so much belief and faith from our crowd and everything. So it's just good that we could all stick together through everything, the wins, the losses. Could there's even a time in the season we was we had lost like four or five we were like two and six in conference, I'm not sure. You know, but everyone still stuck with us and we came back on like a seven and three run in the conference. So there's a lot of things that we've got to be proud of and just remember and just keep building on for the future. Yeah. Coach, you had seven different players had assists in the game. 15 of the 21 baskets were had assists. Did you feel like you were sharing the ball well? Some of the things you were doing went well. Yeah, I, I thought that that we shared the ball well. I thought we found the open person. We just never. We just were some. We all year long we went through phases of being stagnant offensively where we would not execute or we wouldn't get the shot that we wanted or maybe we got the shot that we wanted and we couldn't execute and, and finish that and we had some runs of that today and against a good basketball team that is going to continue to come at you that was making shots that was getting offensive rebounds you got to be able to score the basketball I mean we're not going to win very many division one games scoring 56 points and, and we know that but it's something that we are going to focus on and it's something that we're going to work on to get better and uh, we definitely feel like defensively we work hard and our kids are doing a good job. We had some lapses today defensively, but for the most part we've hung our hat on defense all year. So if we can get our offense up to where we feel like our defense is, I think we can be a better basketball team next year. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.